Hello and welcome to FPS Coach. In this video, I'm going to talk about the top 5 reasons that cause inconsistencies to your aim. Let's start with an often overlooked reason, and that's your ability to consistently position your body to your equipment. This includes how close you sit to the desk, your posture, arm position, and mouse grip. The challenge we have as FPS gamers is every time we sit down to play, we have to figure out how to consistently position ourselves the same way time and time again, which can be a challenging and elusive task because it's difficult to realize when we're just a little off in any of our alignments. The second reason why your aim is inconsistent, which is the most obvious reason, but the one I know many of you are guilty of, and that's being consistent with your settings and equipment. Things like sensitivity, mouse, mouse pad, resolution, crosshair, and aspect ratio. I see too often gamers changing their settings every day looking for a quick fix. For example, if they are undershooting one day, they'll raise their sensitivity up a little bit, and another day, if they're overshooting, they'll lower their sensitivity. The problem with this is that because as humans, we are naturally great at adapting and using our hand-eye coordination. So when we switch sensitivities, mice, and other settings, we can essentially play decent no matter any change. So this tricks us into giving us confidence if we happen to do well on the new change. It's fine to experiment with settings and equipment, but try working towards committing to a final choice. This way you can start building your muscle memory. The third reason is you may need to create or revise your current warm-up routine. Not even the best aimers in the world can instantly hop straight into a server and aim with their best ability. I wish I could provide some magical warm-up routine that works for everyone, but there are just too many variables to consider. The major variable being which game you play, if it requires a large range of motion in the X and Y axis like Fortnite, or if the game is more horizontal like CSGO, or more flicky motions required in Quake and other variables like in-game sensitivity, or if you're a sniper or rifle user. Some players are strict and regimented with their routine, with every minute planned out with the same drills, while others it only takes a few minutes. Work towards building a routine that replicates the most common range of motions that you use in your game, and with enough time so that you awaken your hand so that you can feel the hand to mouse to sensitivity connection. The fourth reason your aim is inconsistent is your energy level and state of mind. It's no secret that less or bad sleep causes slower reaction and processing time, which heavily influences our hand-eye coordination. But it also causes drier eyes, which affects our visual registration to see the crosshair, game models, and textures. If you've had lackluster sleep the night before, you shouldn't expect to play your best. As for state of mind, I mean things like if you are actually in the mood to play the game. I think we've all been there before where we know we shouldn't be playing, but we force it anyways and most of the time, it doesn't result in our best performances. So my mom and dad comment for this video would be try and take care of your real life responsibilities and things that could be affecting your mental health first so that you can fully enjoy and focus on the game. And last but not least, some days, you'll face players that are simply playing amazing that day. And with the amount of gamers out there, you're bound to face some that have practiced twice the time as you. And these players will make you feel like your aim is bad, but in reality, it's because they know the stronger angles, timings, and positions. And these are the players you just have to tip your hat to until you get better.